Hey VC students, welcome to another video of Hawk Turing. I hope you are doing well and enjoying the final few months of your VC maths methods journey. Um, in today's video, I'll be going through a differentiation topic, uh, more so specifically on chapter 10a, which is your application of differentiation um, chapter. And we'll be going through question 17, which is the very last question of that sub chapter. So, Without further ado, let's get into the video. So question 17, let's have a read. The tangent to the curve with an equation y equals to x cubed plus x at the point a, a cubed plus a passes through the point 1, 1. Find the value of a. Okay, so it's a very short question, um, but I mean, being the last question of this subtopic, it must be a slightly difficult question, right? And it certainly is a lot of students face um, like, you know, it faces a block when doing this question. And I'll show you where the block happens. Um, well, I'm sure you already know it because that's why you've come into this video. So what I'd like to do with these questions generally is have a visualization of what, uh, you know, the graph looks like. And this is what I like to do with any application questions. Um, if I can sketch or visualize something, then I would usually try to do that, even if it's a rough sketch. Um, so I'll, I might as well do that for you over here. So we just got some a graph um, that's a cubic graph it's y equals to x cubed um, plus x and without using a calculator I can you know try to imagine um, what this graph might look like the first thing that comes to mind is you can factorize x over here and you get x square um, x times x square plus 1 and if you try to look for the x-intercept which you let y equals to 0 right then you get x equals 0 um, or well x squared plus 1 doesn't give you any x intercept so there's only one x intercept which is x equals to 0 and we know this graph x cubed plus x is a positive cubic meaning the shape looks something like this from our previous um, understanding and learning of the cubic function so we know the graph is a positive graph looks something like that it crosses x equals 0 what can it look like well there's only one shape guys <laughs> um, you have to start low and high and cross x equals 0 um, and well basically cross the origin over here so that shape is something like this so it goes up here it must come back down because it's a cubic but because there's only one x intercept it cannot come lower than you know their x axis so it comes low but then it goes back up, okay? So that's just a bit of visualization, more for, more so for your know, general knowledge uh, than doing this question. But yeah, it, it's good to know. And then on our cubic graph over here, we have a point A, A cubed plus A. Don't know where that is. You know, could be here, could be here, anywhere. But I'll, I'm just going to put a random point, A, A cubed uh, plus A. Ooh, not one. And then if I was to get a tangent to this line, um, right, if I get a tangent meaning something that is parallel to the curve at that point, then this tangent crosses the point 1, 1. And I know my graph doesn't look like it because I probably put it on the wrong point and it's not to scale, but let's just say, you know, this is point 1, 1. Make it easy for ourselves. I don't care what the graph looks like. I know there's a tangent over here um, and that tangent crosses the point 1, 1. Now, just be careful. The point 1, 1 is not on your graph. The point one one is just a point on the line. The tangent is just a line where the gradient of that tangent line is the same as the gradient of the curve at that point, a a cubed plus a. That's the definition of a tangent, okay? So this point one one does not touch the graph, but that point a a cubed plus a is actually on the graph and also on the tangent. So keep that in mind, it's gonna be very useful. So guys, um, let's jump back into our question over here, right? So we want to then find the value of a. So, yep, that's it. Find what a is. So that tangent is very crucial to our understanding or to our solving of this question. What is a tangent? Well, a tangent is a linear line. It has this form, y equals mx plus c. And generally, with these tangent questions, you want to find what m is, you want to find what c is, and then you can work further to solve the question. So. How do you find m? How do you find c? Let's start with m first. m is the gradient of the tangent. And we know that the tangent shares the same gradient as the curve at that specific point um, where it touches each other. So in this case, we know that the tangent of the linear line is the same as the tangent of the curve at point a. So what you want to do is, I know my curve is x cubed plus x. And if I derive this dy dx, then I get 3x squared plus 1. 
and if I sub in x equals to a, then we can essentially find the gradient of you know the curve and the tangent line at that point. So what we get here is dy dx, and I'll make it so that's very familiar, equals to m, which is that m that we want to find. And you sub in a, you get 3a squared plus 1. So in this instance, guys, um, what you would get is y equals, if you were to rewrite your tangent line, then y equals to 3a squared plus 1 multiplied by x plus c. There we go, okay? So this is getting good. Um, and now the goal is to find plus c, right? Well, how can you find plus c? Well, this is a point to sub in here, 1, 1. So you can do that. So in this case, you sub in the point 1, 1, and you get 1 equals to 3a squared plus 1 multiplied by 1 plus c. So 1 equals to 3a squared plus 1 plus c. The 1 cancels each other out. And then c is you move the 3a squared to the other side, and you get c equals to negative 3a squared. So I'm going to shift my solution here. And generally, it's the other way around where you should be writing your question here. Uh, writing your solution starting from the left side and then moving over to the right hand side but yeah, in, in this video um, let's shift it over to the other side um, it hopefully should be clear enough so if i was to rewrite my equation again so this is the original equation right here and then we rewrote it to so that it looked like this but now that we found plus c you rewrite it again so guys i guess the in maths it's just trying to make things um easier and simple on the eyes so that you know you can then look at it in a new perspective because once you've all found this, you know, equations and things and numbers you can chuck in, then maybe it can spark something. That's it, okay? So the goal of maths is to write, 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 write the answers and, and then maybe you can then see um, a possible solution because if you just think all of it, you know, from start to finish in your head, you know, the human brain capacity just can't handle that much information. So I would recommend you write out as much as you can and then you solve your question like that, okay, from there. So, this is where the stumbling block occurs because now you have the equation of the tangent um, and a lot of students get up to this part and they're okay with it, but then now they're stuck because the, the goal is to find A, but then you, you know, this is it. You can't, well, what, what other information is there? So that's where the visualization takes effect, right? So we know this is our equation of the tangent, right? This equation right here. Um, it passes through point one one. We already subbed that in, um, so we can't really use that point anymore. That's that's the only significance of this point. Um, so what else? What other information can you do? Can you use? In this case, we do know that the tangent passes the point a a q plus a. So even though that a a q plus a doesn't, you know, necessarily, it's still in terms of a. Does that even help you? Well, it actually does, guys. Um, and you know, there's there's nothing else you can potentially think of. So then it doesn't hurt to try, okay? That's what I recommend, you know? Like, whatever comes to mind, do it first. Um, you know, if it doesn't take too long, then might as well give it a try. It's not, there's, I mean, what, what better can you do, right? So uh, that's how I recommend you guys approach it in the exam. If you're ever stuck, just whatever you can think of, sub, write it down, because even though in your head it might not work, um, if you write it down and you try to do the algebra and solve for it, then it usually, most of the time, it actually works. So do that. Um, sub in the point, I should write it here, sub in a cube plus a, um, oh, I forgot the a in front. So sub in a, a cube plus a, so y is a cube plus a equals to 3a squared plus 1 times by a minus 3a squared. Um, if I was to expand this bracket, I get 3a cubed plus a minus 3a squared. And the good thing is the a and the a cancels out and you're left with essentially the a cube. Um, and I, you know you can maneuver and shift things around, but essentially you should get two a cube. So moving that, uh, and then minus three a squared equals to zero. And we're almost there guys. You're like, oh yes, actually yes, there's a zero now. No factor law means yes, you can indeed solve for a. So factorize out a squared and you get two a minus three equals to zero. So therefore, a equals to 0 or a equals to 3 over 2. And that's it, okay? And the last thing I normally check is can a equals 0 and can a equals zero, uh, 3 over 2. So 
in our question here, there's no restriction on A. Um, A can potentially be any point in this graph. It can be zero, zero. That, that doesn't, um, you know, it can't because that point uh, zero, zero, we know does exist on this graph. And then the other one, three over two. Yeah, I mean, it could be. Um, there's no restriction so far. So guys, when you have this, that's what I like to do and check. But that's pretty much it. That's how you answer this question. So the final answer is A equals zero or A equals to three over two. Well, I hope you found this video useful, guys. Um, hope you enjoy it and hope you found it uh, found it insightful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down there below. Um, but otherwise, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.